Hi, I'm Nathan Garrison, co-founder of SharkBands. Welcome to the third episode of our Technology in Action series. In this episode, we'll be addressing questions we've received regarding the product's effectiveness on bull sharks. The bull shark is widely considered one of the most dangerous sharks to humans, if not the most dangerous, because of its aggressive nature and nearshore habitat. The magnetic technology inside shark fans was first tested on bull sharks several years ago when our scientific partners at Shark Defense tested it on the species during their research. But people need to see results. So we consulted with them to create a test demonstration that proves Sharkman's technology is more than just words. I'm Dr. Patrick Rice, and I am the senior marine biologist at Shark Defense Technologies. We're here today to demonstrate how the Shark Band's technology actually interferes and interrupts that hierarchy of senses and creates an effective shark repellent. You guys remember Bernie? Right? Well, Bernie's been hanging out in the Bahamas for the last few months, just waiting for the next opportunity to prove how well his shark bands really work. We traveled to an area where we could test the product on groups of large, hungry bull sharks, stuffed Bernie's leg full of chunks of fresh fish bait, and prepped him for the sharks below. What you're about to see is the first film demonstration of a shark deterrent product successfully repelling bull sharks. Just as in our last demonstration, we placed Bernie on a surfboard with his leg dangling off to create a realistic scenario where a curious shark would approach a person. In this case, Bernie also has bait in his foot, so the shark is engaging its sense of smell as well as its sight. It's gonna be very tempting for the shark to bite the foot. Watch what happens. For about a half hour, we threw bait all around Bernie, and the sharks wouldn't bite his foot or even take bait near his foot. After all that time of Bernie out there with his shark bands on and no bites, we pulled him out, took his shark bands off, and put him back out there. This is essential for a scientific control measure, and after only two minutes, the results speak for themselves. This has been another episode of our Technology in Action series, proving how well shark bands work. We encourage you to check out the rest of our episodes and read more about the product on our website. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.